So we are going to start our toy with the magic ring. Uh, grab the yarn and wrap around two fingers, make an X. Grab the second yarn, twist and yarn over. So now you have a magic ring and we are going to single crochet, six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we pull the yarn and we have six single crochet. So now we are going to take another color yarn and put between last and first stitch. So we know the beginning of the row. And now we are going to start row two and we are going to increase in each stitch. So we have to put two single crochet into each stitch and in total after row two you will have 12 single crochet so into the same stitch you must make two single crochet one and another one each stitch two single crochet and continue until the end of the row so now after row two i have 12 single crochet i take the yarn and i move again on top and now i will have to make one single crochet and then increase I put just one into one stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch. So one single crochet and an increase into the next one. And in total after row three we will have 18 single crochet. We continue until the end of this row. So now we are going to have uh, 18 single crochet and we start row 4 with 2 single crochet and then increase. So we are going to continue with 1 single crochet another one into the next stitch and an increase into the next stitch so continue until the end of this row two single crochet and an increase next row we are going to start with three single crochet and an increase one two three and an increase so in total we're gonna have 30 stitches continue until the end of this row three single crochet and then increase so now we are going to start next row and we will have four single crochet and then increase and at the end of the row we will have 36 stitches hmm. one two three four and an increase one two three four and you continue until the end of the row and you start another row with five single crochet and then increase 
So guys, to speed up the tutorial, I went a bit ahead by myself, but because it's very easy. After you make five single crochet and an increase, uh, you have to crochet nine rows without any change, without any increase. So you will have same 42 stitches for nine rows. And after you finish nine rows, I show you how to make decrease. So, um, I'm already at decrease uh, rows, so it's very easy. You will start with five single crochet and decrease. And now I show you how to make decreases. So, I'm already at the row uh, four single crochet and decrease. So each row you will decrease until you will have six stitches. So you will have five single crochet decrease, four single crochet decrease, three single crochet decrease, two single crochet decrease, then just decrease row and then like two single crochet decrease, one single crochet decrease and only decrease. So you reflect where you had increases, you will have decrease. I will write the written pattern so it will be easy for you to understand. And here you will have a nine uh, rows of single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch. And now we start the decrease. I just show you how I make my decreases. Go under the front loop. I have a separate tutorial where I show several times, then another one, but here I want to show as well. Pull through the first one and make one single crochet. So just go, I'm at the row one, two, three, four. And now go under the first, second front loop, insert one to another and make one single crochet. And then decrease is very invisible. Of course you can make traditional way, just go under both loops, under both loops, and then crochet all three together, but um, it will be more visible and sometimes depending on the yarn it looks a bit too obvious so you can choose the one you prefer and continue with the decrease so I'm at the row that's called four single crochet and a decrease so we go under the front loop and single crochet. It's very easy to create this head. So because you just, uh, I showed you until this, now you crochet by yourself nine rows and then you do make decreases. I hope it's clear. If it's not clear, please let me know in the comments for this video. And now we continue until you will have the head ready. So after a few rows of decrease, you have to fulfill it with the filling and then complete um, all the rows and cut the yarn. So the head will be ready leave in case the long tail so i will continue my rows of decrease and when it will be exactly like this i will start to crochet the body we are going to start to crochet the body the head is already done and um, for the body i decided to use another color yarn because i have just little so now we are going to crochet the body I already started, it's very easy, just chain the 
number that will wrap your wooden ring like that and you can connect the two parts and single crochet one single crochet into each stitch turn your work and continue so i chain 12 and i have 11 stitches and that's enough for my ring but you can measure according to your ring could be different you can continue to work the whole ring or just a little bit like me so i guess that's enough for my part because i want more space for wood than for yarn and my head is also ready and i will just attach like that so leave the long tail and so basically you need just a square and uh, single crochet into each stitch so i will cut the long tail and start to so the body to the ring so just connect the two parts first we better hide this end now we have to connect the two parts for this i will use tapestry needle so just insert so just insert And now we are going to uh, put one stitch in the middle of the single crochet row and we try to connect this part the line here on the line with the line on the opposite side so it will be very straight and not turned or twisted so just in the middle and on the very border and you continue like that and when you are done we start to attach the head to the body so i have sew it and now i turn it to this inside side i will move the needle after three stitches and i will crochet the head to these two rows so i will just get it out somewhere here now i will take the head and i crochet all round sorry i used the needle i sew all around putting the head on these two rows just grab the head stitches and the stitches around these two rows continue until the head is done so I have already attached the head by crocheting around on these two rows and now I crochet the ears, the two ears, so I already attached them so you can see how they look like. They are very easy, just one row. You must make the magic ring, then chain three. one two three and make eight double crochet 
double in yarn over, insert into the ring and make pull through two, pull through two. Then another one. And in total, you must have nine with the chain three. Then you pull and you will get something that looks like that. And then you just sew it to the head and you must make two ears. So that's very easy. Just eight double crochet and chain three. Now I will show you how we will make the... Right now we are going to start to crochet the mouth and I will just take the yellow yarn, make a slip knot and I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I insert my hook into the second chain after the hook. So one, two into the second one and make an increase. Two single crochet into the first, into the second chain. Now I'm going to make two single crochet. One and two. And we arrive at our last chain. So in our last chain we are going to have... Um, four single crochet wait I got the wrong count I missed one stitch so here are my two single crochet one two and now I'm at the last one and I make four single crochet one, two, three, four. So we made an increase into the second chain, two single crochet and four single crochet into the last chain. Now on the other side, we must work into two single crochet. And we must add two more single crochet or one more increase into the very first stitch. So one and two. At the end of row one, we must have 12 single crochet. So now we start row two and we are going to have one single crochet and an increase. one and an increase into the next one then we are going to have two single crochet then one single crochet increase one single crochet increase again two single crochet and one single crochet increase so now we must have 16 stitches let us count so uh, we have counted 16 stitches and now we are going to start row three with one single crochet, another one, so two single crochet and an increase into the next stitch. Then again we have two single crochet on the side. And then we continue with two single crochet increase and 
two single crochet increase Two single crochet increase so we make two times two single crochet increase here I make so one two then we make one, two, three single crochet and we finish with two single crochet and increase. So right now we must have 20 stitches in total. I recounted, I have 20 stitches and now I will crochet one row without any increase so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So you see our mouse will go on this side. It has already a shape like this one. And now we make... 10 single crochet to arrive here so make another 10 single crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and the mouse is ready so we can use a bit of hollow fiber to sew it to the to the face I'm probably not going to cut the yarn because I have just little left so I you can cut the long tail I don't know maybe it's too long so now I will see and now I'm going to put the hollow fiber here and just a little bit for now to keep to give it some shape and then I'm taking my tapestry needle and I'm going to attach it if you count from the top around 11 or 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 Let, let's do after 12 row like that after row 12 after you count from here you attach and we sew the mouth so probably this one is too long so I cut a little bit of yellow yarn and now I will try to fix a bit the mouth so it will be easy to work with it So 
And try to not to tighten too much, just make the a bit of shape like this. Then go here so even the filling will not fall down. Just something like that. don't tighten too much and now we have the mouth and we are going to sew it into the body For me it's easier to do it off camera, I can see nothing practically from here, the stitches. So just go all around and sew it to the face. I have finished to sew the mouth, I think I could even sew it a bit upper. At the end I don't know, I've done it up to 13th row, but it's better between 12 and 13 like this. But it's okay I guess so now I will make the eyes and the nose so let's get started 